Hey, how's it going and welcome to another Shin Megami Tensei Demonology. Man, it's been a minute since I've said that one. Like, I think the last episode of this series was in 2018. For those of you who don't know, this is a series I used to do way back in the day, where I basically talk about the design, lore, and gameplay of demons and personas from across the series. By the way, do not go back and watch any of those old videos, they are very bad. But I figured for the Grand Return episode, we could talk about a new demon from Shin Megami Tensei 5, that being Idun. Hi there! Idun is a goddess from Norse mythology, and while she's not as well known as figures like Thor or Loki, her role in the godly pantheon is undeniably important. Her name means the rejuvenating one or the rejuvenator, as she is the one who maintains the youth of the gods through her apples of immortality. These apples are kept in an ash wood box and are consumed by the gods when they begin to grow old. Although they are referred to as apples in modern translations, the actual fruit isn't specified in stories that feature her. This is pretty similar to the forbidden fruit from the Garden of Eden, which is almost exclusively depicted as an apple, but in actuality, the kind of fruit was never named in the Bible. Idun is married to the bard of Valhalla, Bragi, who welcomes fallen warriors to the afterlife with song. The most prominent story featuring her is the kidnapping of Idun. In this tale, the gods Odin, Loki, and Hynir were exploring some mountains. Once they grew hungry, the gods slew an oxen and attempted to cook it. However, the meat would not cook as a talking eagle kept preventing the fire from heating up using magic. The eagle declared he would stop, but only if he was allowed to join in on the meal. Although the other gods agreed, Loki the trickster wasn't having any of it, and attempted to strike at the eagle with a branch. The eagle reacted quickly to the attack and grabbed the branch along with Loki and flew away into the air. As it turns out, the eagle was in fact Thiazi the giant, who would free Loki on one condition, that being if he was brought the goddess Idun along with her apples of immortality. Loki agreed to the deal and was put back to safety. To fulfill his scheme, Loki came up with a lie that there were fruits in a forest which are far superior to Idun's own. A skeptical Idun followed him, and rather than finding the fruit, she found Thiazi, who snatched her away to Jotunheim, the realm of the giants. With her rejuvenating apples no longer available, the gods quickly began to age. After some deliberation about what is going on, it was put together that she was last seen with Loki. The gods all basically threatened to torture him unless he revealed what had happened. When the truth finally came out, Loki was told to either retrieve Idun or be put to death. Loki borrowed a magic cloak from the goddess Freya, which allowed him to transform into a falcon. He flew to Jotunheim and through a stroke of good luck found that Thiazi was out fishing, leaving Idun unattended. He took the opportunity to transform her into a nut, grabbed her, and quickly escaped. However, it wasn't long before Thiazi realized what had happened and chased after the two. When the other gods saw Loki approaching, they put together a massive pile of kindling, and after it was set ablaze, Thiazi was incinerated and fell to the ground, where he was then promptly killed. Idun is a brand new demon introduced in Shin Megami Tensei 5, and as such only has one design. I think she looks really cute. Doi is very good at designing these waifu demons, and interestingly, she seems to take very heavy inspiration from Little Red Riding Hood. In fact, I remember when her trailer first dropped, a lot of people just assumed that it was Little Red Riding Hood. I love her primarily white and red color scheme with the tiny bits of black and gold, and her outfit itself is really cute. I especially like her little headpiece, bonnet looking thing, her cape, and the stockings are very, very nice. In the game itself, Eden is first encountered in the fairy village during the main quest of SMT5. The protagonist is tasked with meeting her to obtain some of her healing apples, to which she reveals that Loki has stolen all of them. After tracking them down and delivering them, it is revealed by a Jack Frost that Eden has been kidnapped by Loki, and the subquest A Goddess Stolen becomes available. This quest is basically one big homage to her mythology, with the major difference being that this time Loki is Eden's kidnapper, although to be fair in this story it was basically all his fault to to begin with, so Loki is really funny in this quest. He essentially wants to sell the apples for money. According to him, faith in gods has dwindled in value, whereas wealth now holds far more power. So he basically wants to sell humans' immortality? Stonks. You then fight and defeat Loki, who tempts you by dropping a single apple. If you don't take a bite, Eden says that you didn't follow in the footsteps of Adam and is proud of you. If you do take a bite, she expresses disappointment, but it otherwise doesn't affect the quest at all. But uh, don't, don't take a bite, you don't want Eden to be disappointed. You can then report back to the Jack Frost, he expresses his appreciation, Eden takes off, and the quest is complete. 
After completing the quest, Eden becomes available for special fusion at level 42, where she requires three other female demons to make, Ame no Uzume, Huapo, and Parvati. She is a member of the Megami race and boasts extremely high magical stats for her level, making her a very desirable demon for that stage of the game. Thanks to her skill potential, she works as an excellent wind and light mage, but suffers from a negative potential with darkness. Her vitality is quite low, making her a bit fragile, but the sheer damage she can dish out makes it absolutely worth it. However, Edun's true strength is as a support demon, since she has positive potential with buffs as well as healing magic. She learns the unique skill Golden Apple, an allusion to her own mythology as the Apple Keeper, and it stands out as being one of the most powerful unique abilities in the whole game. It provides moderate healing for all allies, but it also has the ridiculous added benefit of buffing all allies' stats by one. This makes the skill basically a double punch Meteorama and Luster Candy, making it incredibly valuable. This ability does come with a downside, however, and that's its very steep MP cost. Golden Apple will cost 126 MP, assuming she hasn't been given any sutras to improve potential, meaning roughly half of her MP is consumed with every use. It's one of the single best skills in the mid game when Edun becomes available, but due to its very high cost, needs to be used pretty sparingly. So yeah, that has been another Shin Megami Tensei demonology. I hope you all enjoyed, more of these are coming down the line. SMT5 has a lot of new demons I really want to talk about, so yeah, look forward to those coming out uh, eventually. But yeah, that has been the video, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.